everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Chloe and today I have another Disney outlet haul for you. So this is like part two of my last Disney outlet haul that I did. If you did not catch that, I will link that above and below, but go check that out. We got a ton of amazing deals at our Disney outlet. We usually don't get those kind of deals at our Disney outlet. So when I saw them, I knew I had to pick them up. And because we've been getting so many great deals, I of course had to go back and get some more. So before I get into that, I did want to tell you at the end of this video, I will be mentioning the giveaway that we're currently doing. It's our 2K, 3K, 4K giveaway. Can't believe we hit so many milestones in this last month. So make sure you stick around to find out how to enter that giveaway. But let's get started. So right off the bat, because our outlet has gone green and they no longer offer the plastic bags, they do have you, or they give you the option if you want to buy a bag. Usually it's just one of these like cheap, I think they're like a dollar for these bags. So usually I go with that, but when I saw this Mandalorian reusable bag, I knew I had to get it. So this was about, I think $3.99, but these ones actually don't fit as much as like this big one, but I'm glad I went with it. I do want to mention that most of these things I picked up over the last month, basically since I did my last Disney haul, I would recommend checking your outlet just to see if they have any of these sales still. Ours is pretty picked over at this point, but there are some of these things still available, so buyers be warned. <laughs> so the first thing I have out of my big bag of goodies is this Ursula shirt. This Ursula shirt was, I think, about $8.99. I've actually already worn this shirt. I wore it on my trip with my sister to Disney World. I will link that travel day above and below as well. But it's really cute, super soft. I think these usually ran about 30 bucks, so for $8, I was very happy to pick this up. The next thing that I picked up was actually this Cinderella figurine play set. So this was $5.99. So you've got Lady Tremaine, Lucifer, Cinderella, Prince Charming, Fairy Godmother, Jacques, and Gus Gus. And I just thought this was really cute. It was originally $14.99 and on sale for $5.99. And if you did not know, Cinderella is my absolute favorite princess, so I had to pick this up. I'm not sure if I'll keep it in the box or what I plan on doing with it. Probably didn't really need to buy it, but for $5.99, why not? <laughs> the next thing that I picked up was this adorable sketchbook Minnie Mouse ornament. She's kind of like a little puppet where there's a little hand guy making them move. This ornament was originally $19.99 and it was on sale for $7.98. And at the time, I think it was an extra 20% off, but I just thought it was really cute. And she'll match our tree because our tree is red and gold. So she will fit right in. I don't think they had a Mickey, otherwise they probably would've bought him too. But I can definitely see these strings breaking at some point. So hopefully they hold up. <laughs> The next thing that I picked up was actually another one of the Star Wars Vinylmations. If you did not watch the last video, I was super lucky and we ended up with Kylo Ren and the Stormtrooper. And so I decided to throw caution to the wind and pick up another one. These were originally $14.99 and on sale for $5.99. And so let's see who we got. What do you think we got, Joy? What do you think, Joy? Let's see. We got, well, I guess our luck ran out because we ended up with not a duplicate, but DJ who, I'm not really sure who DJ is. That's what he looks like. Pretty cute. At least it wasn't a duplicate. And then what I really went crazy on with the outlet sale was that they had a ton of Disney pins on like crazy discount. So let's go through the pins that I picked up. The first one is this Elsa and Anna double pin. And they also have a double pin back. This was originally $15.99 and was on sale for $5.99. And if you watched the first day that me and Dan were at the Riviera in December, I saw this pin and I was like, oh, that's so cute. I didn't end up picking it up. I'm glad I didn't because I got it for $6. So very happy with this purchase. I'm going with the same Elsa and Anna Frozen theme. They had this Olaf on Sven pin. I don't know how much this one was originally because it was the silver category, um, but they had it on sale for $3.99. So definitely wasn't $3.99 in the parks. So definitely a good purchase. 
and more Frozen. Not really sure why they had so many Frozen pins on sale. I would think that Frozen would do well in the parks, but maybe they just had an excess stock of them and they just had to get rid of some of them. Which I did see the Elsa and Anna pin still in the parks when I was there in February, so not really sure how that happened, but I also picked up this little family portrait pin. So you've got Sven, Kristoff, Olaf, Anna, and Elsa. And this was the yellow category. Again, I don't know the categories off the top of my head, but this one was $3.99 as well. So another good pickup. The next pin that I got was this Evil Queen pin. She's holding her little, I don't know, heart box. This was only $2.99. When can you get a pin for $2.99? I'm not a huge villains collector, but for $2.99, I can buy a villain's pin. The next pin that I picked up was this Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout pin. And this pin, so when me and Dan went to Disneyland, I didn't buy a whole ton of pins. I think just because I was so used to buying pins in Walt Disney World where I get my discount. And for some reason, I was not in the mood to buy a ton of pins in Disneyland at full price. And I don't even know that I ever saw a Mission Breakout pin because I probably would have bought it. But long story short, I never got a Mission Breakout pin, and that was one of my favorite rides that we went on, so to see one for $2.99 at the Disney outlet, I had to get this. So cool! Also, such exciting news that Disneyland should be op hopefully reopening soon. Like, so sad that they've been closed for a year, basically. That's nuts. And so the next couple pins that I picked up Normally I don't buy pins for holidays that I wasn't in Disney World for, so if I wasn't there for Valentine's Day, I don't like to buy a Valentine's Day pin unless it's on sale. So when I saw these in the outlet store, there was Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Trick or Treat Cuties for Halloween 2020. And they're so cute with their little Halloween costumes and their little pumpkins. Can't really tell what they are. It looks like a pirate, maybe an astronaut or an alien. The cowboy, I think. But they're so cute, and this was only $4.99. Originally $17.99. And then the next pin was another Halloween pin, Halloween Day, limited edition. And this has the Heffalump, Tigger, and Brew. And they're also in their little Halloween costumes. I just thought they were so cute. Again, this one was only $4.99. And then last but not least, another Trick or Treat Cuties, Halloween 2020, limited edition. And you have Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in their little Halloween costumes. How cute are they? I have no idea why these ended up in the outlet. I would think that they would have sold well, but maybe the parks just weren't that busy on Halloween day this year. I mean, that's entirely possible. It's COVID. But yeah, I have no idea how they ended up in our store. It's not like they're Disneyland pins. They are definitely Walt Disney World pins. They say Lake, Buena, Lake Buena Vista on the back. So beats me how they got there, but I was happy to buy them. And then the last Halloween pin that I picked up, it says Happy Halloween 2020 and is a pass holder pin. It has Goofy in his little candy bag with Mickey and Donald sticking out the back there. And this is another limited edition. And yeah, I have no idea why a pass holder pin ended up in the Niagara Falls outlet store, but fine by me. And then the last pin or pin set that I picked up was this inside out pin set. So you've got sadness, envy, anger, fear, and of course, joy. Right, Joy? This pin set was not on sale. It was $14.99, which if you know anything about pins, a pin set for $14.99 is a very good deal. So I was very excited to get this one. My goal is to get all of the Joy pins that are out there because that is this little girl's name. Right, Joy? She brought me her moose. So yeah, I was very happy to get this pin set. I think they don't really have this in the store anymore. I did see it in Disney World, I think though. So if you're looking for a, if you're looking for an inside out pin set, definitely check this one out. I think it's super cute. And if you did not notice, they are all roasting marshmallows on the top of Anger's head. So I just think it's super funny. And of course, sadness doesn't even have a marshmallow. I'm assuming hers is the one on the backer card FL, so. Seems par for the course. <laughs> and then the very last pin that I picked up was actually this mystery ink and paint set. And so the ones that you could get in this one are on the side here. This pin set comes with two mystery pins. 
And you can get like the Artist Palette, the Ink and Paint, Sorcerer Mickey, Pinocchio, the Tiger from Jungle Book, Jiminy Cricket, Sorcerer, looks like Blue, the Three Fairy Godmothers from Sleeping Beauty, and the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. So I picked this up and I thought we could open it up on camera. And I just picked up one set of these. These were on sale for $9.99. Not a huge sale, they were originally $15.99, but if you know anything about me with mystery things, I tend to not buy more than one because I don't like to get duplicates. So let's see who we got. Hmm. They're actually a lot bigger than I thought they would be. I have no idea who this would be. Let's open it up. <gasps> Ooh! The three fairies. Oh my goodness, that one's so cute. Oh, I think that's adorable. I think this would be really cute if you had like an Aurora pin and had them like flying over her or like an Aurora and her prince. That would be really cute. So I'm happy with that pin. And then let's see. This one feels pretty thin. I'm gonna guess that this is the artist palette. So let's open it up. Oh, that's how it's better. Oh, it is! How cute! So on the artist palette there, you have all the little Mickey heads and the paint colors. Very cute. Those are the two pins I got. So like I said, I definitely want pin crazy, but to get all those pins for that price, like, that's just unheard of. So I have no idea if they still have them that cheap. I think they still have some pins cheap, but definitely not as many as when I picked all those up. Right, Joy? Pretty girl. And then the next thing that I picked up was this really cute Mickey ear keychain. It's got the rose gold, which obviously I love wearing my rose gold ears. And I just need like a new keychain. So for $4.99, why not? This was originally $14.99. And to go with the rose gold theme, I actually picked up this rose gold fanny pack. This was on sale for $17.99, and this was probably one of the best, like, discounted things that I picked up. It was originally $44.95, so pretty good savings there. And I mean, you gotta have the matching fanny pack for the ears, right? And last but not least, if you watched my original Disney outlet haul, you'll know that one of my favorite pickups was my purple Disneyland uh, crew neck sweater. And after I picked up the one, I kind of regretted because at the time they had the purple, a coral, a blue, and like a bleachy gray. So I went back and I picked up the blue one, which I think is super cute. It's not as blue as it's coming out on the camera, but I think it's super fun, super cute. I live in my purple one currently, so I figured why not pick up another one. I think it was $15.99 though, so too expensive, especially considering we went in last weekend and all of the sweaters are like $45 and up. So I think the Disneyland ones were a good pickup at the time. And I'm very happy with this purchase. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up at the Disney outlet this time. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But probably what most of you are sticking around for is news of the giveaway. So let me go grab what you can win. So as a thank you to all of our subscribers, we can't even believe that we hit 2K, 3K, and 4K in the last month. We are doing a giveaway. Unfortunately, it's limited to just US residents. I'm so sorry to our subscribers who live elsewhere, but unfortunately shipping costs are just way too high. But for those who live in the US, we have a giveaway for you. The first thing that you will win is this really cute Happy Haunts on a mansion lounge fly and it's just a little mini backpack still have the cardboard there for you everything's tied up so this is super cute if you know me you know that i love the lounge fly and the little mini backpack so hopefully one of you will enjoy this and then you will also win a pair of the 2020 disney ears which hopefully you guys don't mind that it says 2020 on the side but you usually can't even tell when you're wearing them and these are very cute i wore them with my blue Donald Duck sweater, so I think they make a cute little Donald Disney mound, or however you wanna wear them. And then whoever wins will also win this Madame Leota Haunted Mansion wallet slash card holder to go with your lounge fly, your Haunted Mansion lounge fly. Then last but not least, whoever wins will also win a $25 Disney gift card to use as you please. 
So like I mentioned, it is only limited to US residents, but to enter, you will just need to subscribe. Go over to our YouTube Instagram at Chloe and Dan Vlogs. Make sure you're following us there and also on my travel agent Instagram at Mrs. Mouse Travel underscore MVP. All of that will be linked down below. Make sure you comment two of your friends' names on the post on at Chloe and Dan Vlogs. And then if you want an extra entry, you can share that post to your story. And if you want another extra entry, you can also leave us a comment down below what your favorite ride in Disney is. But make sure you do all the other requirements before you do the comment down below. The giveaway will run through March 17th at 9 p.m. So make sure to enter before then. After that, all entries will be closed and we will announce the giveaway. Good luck to everybody who enters and I hope you guys enjoyed this Disney outlet haul. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!